Hello you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amanda. Today, we are doing the long-awaited apartment haul. I feel like this video is gonna be super long, so I'm gonna try and just like sum everything up really quick, but I figured I would give you guys a quick overview. If you don't know, I am moving out of my parents' house into my own apartment with my boyfriend, and we are moving on November 15th, so it's coming up super quick. So I have been going nuts shopping. I literally can't stop, so I figured that Instead of doing super long hauls in the middle of my vlogs, which I was initially planning on doing, we're going to do just a massive haul. I feel like we have most of the stuff that we're going to have until we move in now because I just have so much and I'm like, we just need to wait until we get anything else. So I feel like now is a good time. I will try linking everything that I have down below. If I can't find it, I will link something similar or I'll try my best to. I also just wanted to give you a little overview of like how our floor plan is. So we have an open concept main living area. So we have the living room, dining room, and kitchen kind of all open concept open. Then I have a den, which is going to be kind of like my office space. I don't have much for that, so you probably won't hear that much today. Then we also have the bathroom and we have the bedroom. So. I'm just going to be like telling you guys where things are going probably. There's a few things we're not sure if it's going to go in the bedroom, the living room. I'll get there when we get there. I'm going to try and keep this organized. I don't know if it's going to be. It's probably not going to be so I apologize in advance. I don't even know where to start. Okay, we're just going to start with the things that are near me. And I'm going to try and move stuff out of my room while I'm filming this so bear with me. We're going to start with this lamp first because she's right here behind us. And she is beautiful. I have been looking for the perfect stand-up lamp for our living room. Also, I just wanted to address this one question. I got a few questions saying if we're keeping the same theme going throughout the entire apartment or we're doing different themes in each room. I'm trying my best to keep the theme going. Um, the main theme, which you will see very quickly, is gold. I'm going through a really, really big gold phase right now. Um, as you guys have seen, you'll see my room transformation video soon, but um, I have a lot of gold ornate mirrors and I want to bring those with me because they are so my vibe right now. I'm obsessed with them. So a lot of things are gold and I feel like we're keeping the, it's going to be like gold, white, black throughout the apartment. I think the bedroom is going to be a little bit more modern um, because of my side tables, which I'll show you. Um, but yeah, just, okay. This standing lamp is to go in the living room. I am absolutely obsessed with it. It is from TJ Maxx. Um, it's by Ralph Lauren. I have been looking for the perfect standing lamp forever. My mom actually found this yesterday, so I'm so pumped about it. It's literally everything that I was imagining and more. I'm obsessed with it. I guess I'm going to do like decoration-y things first, kind of. That's kind of how this is looking, like it's going to work best. Evan and I both love plants, and so we want to have kind of a lot of greenery around the apartment. So, I got these, which are two little pots that you can hang on the wall to, um, actually, how would you hang this on the wall? They're definitely, like, meant to hang on the wall, but, like, there's no hook. Okay, I'll figure that out, but I thought these would be cute, like, staggered on a wall. They kind of look like Easter eggs, and I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get that vision out of my head, but I just figured they'd be really cute, and so I need to suck it up and get past that lamp okay and the egg looking things i don't even know where i put those oh they're on my couch okay well this is one of my absolute favorite things again for plants this you're kidding me i'm obsessed this is so cute you put the little plant in a little black pot it's like the most unique pot i've ever seen i'm oh my god I'm obsessed Let's count how many times I say obsessed in this video, shall we? <laughs> I think these are gonna go in the bedroom. We're doing more of a white, I would say, theme in the bedroom and then more cream throughout the main living space um, because my couch is cream. I have bar stools that are cream, stuff like that. So I think the bedroom is gonna be more like stark white. So I have these little sticks. I thought these would be so cute and like a little, like, not a bucket, but you know. A holder of sorts I can't think of what I'm talking about but 
I just thought they were so unique and so cool and like, I just really like them. I know that looks like something you'd really like to chew on, but let's not. Next, I think I'm gonna go through pillows. I think we're gonna maybe do pillows. Okay, I have so many pillows right now. I don't know what I'm doing with all of them. I'm probably gonna end up returning the majority of them if I'm really being honest because I keep switching up what I think I want. So I have two of these little fluffy guys. It is like the softest fur pillow I've ever felt. Um, so I felt like I needed to have them. So I got two with thoughts of putting one in the bedroom, one in the living room to kind of like tie it together. But I, I don't think this is gonna end up matching the living room, but probably will be in the bedroom. Really, we have so much stuff. This is like the heaviest pillow I've ever felt in my entire life. Um, it's more of like a champagne color. I don't, again, think I'm gonna end up keeping this. I had like a whole bunch of them go together really nicely and I really liked it, but then I got my side tables, which you guys will see, and I just don't think that it's gonna match. So this, um, all of the pillows are from Home Goods Marshall's TJ Maxx. This is another one of the pillows. It's kind of like a little bit faux furry. Um, I just really liked the vibe of it. And again, not really sure where it's gonna go, but I liked her, so. Another white one. And then I think I have two of these potentially. Again, I don't even know if I'm keeping one of them, but it was this fun black fur pillow. I thought this was just so fun and like added a different texture. There's really cute squirrels outside my window eating. They're really cute. Like I said, I think I have two of these. I hope I can make it work because I really, really like it, but that's one of them. Some more pillows that we added to the collection last night. Um, you guys will see my nightstands but this is like a kind of white pillow with like gold streaks through it it definitely is more so the vibe of my nightstands so i have two of these again i don't know what's gonna i'm gonna stop saying that i don't i don't know about any of these pillows i don't know if they're staying or going so we'll just leave it at that this one i think evan would be really upset if i didn't tell you that he picked this out um this is the Billy pillow. It looks like Billy. It's tricolored like him. And it's so fun. Um, this one, Evan, if you're watching this, don't take it the wrong way. I love this pillow. I love it. It's one of my favorite pillows that we have. But it's really, really throwing a monkey wrench in because I can't find other pillows to go with it. So. I, I love it. We'll make it work, but it's creating a bit of an issue. I think I'm gonna try and get these pillows out of here right now. And then we'll be back. Just when you thought we were done with pillows, we're not. I have a bunch of blankets and stuff in here that I've had for a while. They're all from Home Goods. This is a furry rug. I don't know if I'm gonna use this either, but I bought this a while ago and it's just the softest thing I've ever felt, so. Maybe I'll just sleep with it. So here's where my heart gets sad. I am so in love with these pillows. They're so cute. Again, they're more of like a champagne-y kind of color. They're not super gold, but that was the original vibe that we were gonna do in the bedroom. But now we're kind of changing it and I'm sad because I don't know if these are gonna match, but I just love them so much. They're from Home Goods. They're big, they're squishy. I just love them so much and they're zebra. So how can you not love them? I have two of those, and I have two of these. This just came in a pack of two, um, just like a nice kind of plain pillow. We love her. I really like those, so hopefully I can use those. Oh my God, Billy's laying down, I love you. Next, we're gonna go on to the elephant in the room. This thing is fantastic, okay. Just wait. This is probably a really bad idea for me to do. In our bathroom, we don't have a lot of storage. Um, I think we're only gonna have like under the sink storage. And I don't even know how big that is. There's no closet for like bathroom stuff. So I was like, we need to figure out a way to like store things and make it look pretty. And then I walked into Home Goods and saw this little love bug. Okay, here we go. I'm so scared. I should not be doing this by myself. This, you can't tell how great it is from there. 
It's a little corner shelf. It has these nice gold bars. I hope you can see. This is really hard to film alone. And then the shelves are mirrored, which we love. And so I just got a bunch of like cute little things to put on here. I'm thinking we can roll up our towels, put them on here, and like make it look nice. Hopefully. Now that we're in the bathroom, I guess we're gonna keep going on with the bathroom. This is going not in an order. Not in any order at all, so I apologize. Um, this is not bathroom. Bathroom's over there. You mind if we go to the kitchen in the living room really quick? Cause I'm thinking that's gonna be easy if I'm gonna get to. We're gonna start with dun, 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 dun. glasses. I love these glasses. They're from Target. I literally think that this entire thing was 10 bucks or something crazy like that. It's a 12 piece glass set. I randomly had purchased one of these glasses, like they sold separately. Oh, hold on. My grandparents are so cute. They're like looking at little like bar stools and stuff for me that they saw. So if I leave again, I'll be right back. I had one of these sh short glasses and I just really like them. I think they're just like really sleek looking. Like they're just, so cute so i got the set that has six short ones and then six tall ones they just look the same but they're a little taller target has really good deals on stuff like this like in sets um i'm going to show you my plates as well that i got from target great deals fantastic deals these are my like plate bowls i bought these separately because they didn't come in a set but i'm obsessed with this look of like plate or bowl they're like shallow but like have the edge like I don't know I just love them I just think they look so cool I don't know and I kind of hate eating on just flat plates because then like you try and scoop food and then it like gets off the edge of it and they won't happen in this so I really like these I actually need to get another one these are from Target really affordable as well I think these might have been like two or three dollars a piece like not bad yeah so excited and then to match those they're like the same brand um but they came in a set i have this dinnerware set and so it's a 12 piece set i think i got this for 20 bucks oh my goodness gracious okay so they're basically just like those bowl plate things that i just showed you but they just have um big plates small plates and then bowls i believe yeah like cereal bowls. So, like right there. So, pumped about that. If you need to get like dishes or glasses or anything like that, check out Target. They have really good deals for the sets. My room is such a mess right now. Next, we're gonna go into some other stuff I have here. Oh, I have some Christmas stuff that I'm gonna save for a Christmas haul. That's gonna go over there. I have some other plates and I will show you guys these. I'll bring them up um, in a little bit and show them to you, but I'll put it in here. I'm dumb and I forgot to show you guys the plates and I already wrapped them up and packaged them away and like taped the box shut. So I have this little clip from when I had my eggs on them. This is what they look like, just so you have an idea. And I went back, I got them at Home Goods. I absolutely adore them. You guys have probably seen them in my vlogs, like eating my eggs with them and whatever. I'm obsessed with them, but I didn't know I was moving. I thought it was just gonna be like me using them to like make my food aesthetic when I eat eggs in the morning, because that's basically the only food I show, but hopefully things will change in my apartment. I should have gotten more. I only got like two of each thing, but I went back to see if they had more, and they had this long dish, which kind of matches. So I was thinking if we have like an appetizer or something like that, um, it would be good to put in this little dish. Next, I have a few frames. I've never been someone that's like super into like photographs in picture frames, which I know sounds stupid, and I'm also someone that wants a picture of literally everything ever, but just to like have, I don't know. I just thought these were so cute and matched the vibe so well. It's like black wood with kind of like a gold rim. This is from Target. This one is from Home Goods. Again, I just thought the vibe, the vibes were immaculate. Um, where do I keep putting things? As I was saying, the vibes are immaculate. We love her. Nice little mirror vibe. So cute. You know, and you like forget what you have and you're like, ooh, what is this? What am I unwrapping? I think this is another mirror. Not a mirror, I mean a frame. I don't know if we're gonna keep this, but as you guys might also see in the apartment, 
I started shopping. I've said this a bunch of times, so I'll just make it quick. I started shopping for us to live together like several years ago because we were planning on moving out and then we just never did. So I got a bunch of stuff. And at the time, my vibe was black and white stripes. And up until like uh, two months ago, I was still like on that, loved it, like so ready to decorate for it. And then all of a sudden my vibe changed and I was like, um, mm -hmm. so this, I I'm going to try and like maybe bring in some of the things um, cause we're still doing like black, white, gold. Um, but I just thought this was cute and would maybe tie it in as well. Now a little frame. This I have to hang near the door, maybe with some hooks for keys. I just thought it was so cute. Again, totally the vibe. Welcome. This, I can't even tell you why I'm this excited about it, but I'm really excited about it. It might be the home edit in me. I don't know. The Clea and Joanna in me. I don't know. Hello. You guys know I'm, I'm in an egg phase right now. Hopefully it lasts because I mean, I could be eating worse. Um, you can't even tell me that this wouldn't just make your day every time you open your fridge. Okay. From Home Goods, they have them like everywhere, but I think Home Goods was the best deal. Again, I'm also so excited about these. I've been wanting some for a really long time. I'm really excited. They are these glass mugs. You know all the influencers have them. They're just so cute. Like, I don't even drink hot coffee. I, I could put my tea in here or my cold coffee. We'll just, it'll be fine. I got two of them. This is the only time I've ever seen them at TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Marshalls, whatever it was. Two for 10. They have a really good deal for them on Wayfair, so I can link those below for you guys, but they were like six of them. I just don't think I'm gonna need six of them. I'm like a mug fiend, and like, I'm obsessed with buying a mug, so I have so many mugs already that I'm like, I don't need six clear ones, and then like, seven million other ones, so. I just got two. Next. You're not ready for this. I was in the store, and I was looking at these other candles. I'm, I have a thing for candlesticks right now, so you're gonna see them all over the place. Um, I saw these and like literally made a scene in the middle of the store and Evan was like, put them, just, just get them, just put them in, just, and I didn't even look at the price and they're kind of expensive. They were $17 a piece. Evan, I really hope you're not watching this. They're so beautiful. Like I could have these forever. We could use these at our wedding. Like we could like, they're beautiful. I'm obsessed with them. And I absolutely needed them. There was no not getting them. There was, that was not gonna happen. I'm annoying again. I have a few things for fall. I'm gonna do like a fall decorating haul. So watch out for that too. So I'm gonna skip over a few things. I have a problem and obsession with coasters. I don't really know why. I have these coasters in my room. I got them for my freshman year dorm. I still remember in the store, my mom was like, you're not going to use them. Like you don't need them. You're not going to use them. I use them every day. I'm obsessed with them. And when my brothers got their chinchillas, they needed like granite to like sit on. Chinchillas need to be like cold all the times. And so I gave them a few of them for them to like sit on. And now they've been in their cage for like two years and I just don't want them back because they're disgusting at this point. I got um, a few packs. I think like at least two packs of coasters because again, I have an issue. But these are just so cute, white and gold. And then I can grab the other ones. Oh, they're really similar. I didn't notice that, which is kind of good. Then I got them with black marble with the gold edge. So they're actually, they go really nice together. I didn't... I didn't plan that. Evan is excited about like two things in this whole apartment. The shower caddy and his bar cart and that pillow. Three. Like the rest he's just letting me take over which is really just a blessing from God above because I'm psychotic and like a control freak and I'm like no this needs to be this way. So um, it's been great. These are for his bar cart I think because we're going to try and tie in a little bit of black into there. So cute. So cute. Here's another plate that I didn't really need, but I did need, if you know what I mean. This is from At Home. I've seen this in the past, and I just thought it's so cute. It's like this heavy-duty glass bowl with this gold edge. It's just so pretty. I only got one of them because Evan's like, Evan hates heavy bowls and plates and stuff. So I'm like, okay, I'll just get one for myself. So, love her. So cute. 
needed to have. Next, I don't think these are going to be left out all of the time, but um, I just really liked them. My mom saw them, got them. She thought they were so cute. So I got this really pretty table runner for our little dining table. I'm going to clip in a picture of the dining table here because it's not put together. I just loved this. They just It's just so pretty. And then I also got matching placemats for if we have people over or we're eating or something like that. And then this, I feel like I should wait for Christmas, but I'm just so thrilled about it now that I can't wait. They have a matching tree skirt. I'm just so thrilled. I really just feel like a real adult right now. Excited about placemats and table runners and tree skirts. Moving on to the kitchen kind of now. Again with the mug obsession. I just thought this was so cute. It ties in the black, gold, and kind of creamish. I need to go and get an E for Evan. Um, they said they had it at the store I was at, but I could not find it anywhere, so we're in need of an E. Next, we have a few more really adult things that I shouldn't be excited about, but I'm super thrilled about. Paper towel holder. So cute. So gold. I hate the ones that have, like, the little screwy thing on the top. It makes it so much more difficult. Love this. Then I got these pan organizers. The prettiest pan organizers I've ever seen in my life. Remember when I said I thought I only got two um, things of coasters? Well, just kidding. I don't even remember getting these if I'm being really honest, but they're cute. Now we have all different sorts. We'll never need another coaster. We will never run out. There will never be a drink placed on a table. This, I've wanted something like this since I was like, I don't even know how old. My friend Shelby, they always had like a sticker on their dishwasher, not a sticker, a magnet on their dishwasher at her house for if the thing was clean or dirty, the dishwasher was clean and dirty and it's a little stand. And I'm just so thrilled. So pumped. Thank you, Joanna Gans, for that. We have this nice, pretty cutting board. It kind of looks like, like, quartz a little bit I don't know she was just cute this I'm really pumped about this soap dispenser for the kitchen it's kind of like a black granite black marble whatever stone I don't know with the gold I just thought it was so cute again tying a little bit of the black we're not doing like crazy amounts of black but just kind of little pops everywhere so really really loved this for evan's bar cart we obviously had to get all matching gold things so i just have a few things here he has the rest at his house but um we have like little stirs little bottle openers and a wine opener so cute my mom just gave me these the other day she's had them for a while but it's just like a little kitchen utensil set um seven piece tools of the trade nylon utensil set um so these will be perfect for all the cooking we're gonna do. We're gonna have baking with Baba, cooking with Chunley, mukbangs with Mandy, all the things. Loading this up and then we'll get on. I swear to God, I think I just broke my toe. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I just screamed for about uh, 25 minutes, but we're back and now we have one less box in this room and it's really, it's a really good feeling. I'm just gonna show you this because I feel like I kind of already, well, I guess we're going to be doing some more bedroom, but whatever. I'm just going to read this now. This is the comforter that I got. Um, I believe this is the exact same comforter that I have repurchased year after year. I love this comforter. It's by Ralph Lauren. Um, it's a down alternative comforter. 100% cotton, hypoallergenic, machine washable. It's just, it gives me like hotel vibes. It's like the perfect white comforter, I feel like, and I love the feeling of it. If this makes any sense at all, it's like cold when you get in, which like, I know that might seem like you don't want that, but like, you know when like the sheets are like cold and you like, I don't know, it's nice. I, I've gotten like other white comforters and I just hate all of them. This is the one that I just love time after time. So I got a new one of those because mine's disgusting for my fake tan and I probably could wash it, but like, She's a mess. And I would need to bring it to the laundromat and I don't really want to do that in COVID, so. Oh God, we got to play musical things here to get these all moved. There's so much going on in this room. Hi, Belle. Oh, you're so cute. 
I just want to know how you, you're just so excited to see me every time you see me, but I guess I feel the same way about you, so the feelings mutual. You're just so cute. So sweet pig, come on. Now my battery is flashing at me. Let's hope the other one's charged. Okay, we're going into bathroom now. This is the thing that Evan was just so excited about to pick out, so. This one's nice, ties a little bit of the black into the bathroom. We have hooks for my loving tan mitts. We love. This is either gonna go in the bathroom or potentially in the bedroom. Um, maybe we ever, we have a spot for it. Just this cute little mirror, or maybe I just won't keep it at all. Who knows, I don't know, we'll see, but. That's from at home. Another item, I think this is gonna go on like the back of the toilet. Um, and either hold some products or like a toilet paper, an extra toilet paper roll, something like that. But like, you know, spice up the bathroom a little bit. So for the bathroom, I don't 100% have our shower curtain picked out. There have been a few that I'm looking at on Society6, but I also don't know if I just want like kind of a basic white one. There is one on Society6 that I feel like matches that corner shelving unit that I showed you guys, but... We'll see, I haven't decided yet, but I got these bath mats because they're just so like plush and like cozy looking. I just wanna like curl up on this rug. So, I love that. Cute little loofahs, obviously they have to match. Duh. I am obsessed with this little trash can. This is from Target. I just think it's so cute, so unique. And then I also, Got my soap dispenser from Target. I'm in love with this. I think it's so cute. And then I also got the matching toothbrush holder. I love how it has like, I don't know, like a pattern to it, if that makes sense. So cute. I then got me this little bath pillow because I've always wanted one. I can't wait to take bubble baths and I'm just so pumped. I have I'm just so, I'm so excited. So, had to get a little bath pillow. I got this. I thought this would be cute to like, I don't know, store just like random things in. I'm not sure exactly where in the house I'm gonna use this. I have this in my bathroom box. So I, I plan on using it in the bathroom, but not totally sure. But I just thought it was so cute and I needed to have it. Then I have these towels. I will legit pay any of you that find these towels. These are from Marshalls. Um, I assume that they'd probably have them at Home Goods, TJ Maxx, wherever. They are by the brand Inspirado or Inspirito. I don't know how to pronounce it. I love these so much. They give me all the Cinderella vibes. I don't even know why. I don't even know why. But I got all the towels. They only had two bath towels. And then I got a few packs of these finger towels and a pack of the hand towels that match. But um, I kind of want more maybe hand towels and definitely bath towels. If any of you see them and you want to get them for me, I'll pay you. That'd be amazing. So let me know. <laughs> and then I think this is the last thing we have for the bathroom. I think this is the last thing for the bathroom right now. We have this little painting picture thing. I just thought it was so cute. It kind of, again, ties in all the colors we're going for. And I just really, Loved her. We're getting to the end. I just have a bunch of random stuff. Evan got me this gluten-free cookbook, but I'm thinking we can also use it as a coffee table book. We're excited to like try out fun gluten-free recipes, stuff like that. Yeah. My mom got me these just like plain black and white kitchen towels. Um, I hate when that happens. My hair gets stuck on my eyelash and I look like one of those dolls that like when you lean it back, their eyes shuts. Yeah. Black and white kitchen towels. <laughs> My mom got me this just plain black and white towel. She got them a while ago, but they're from TJ Maxx. Oh my God, a bird just like flew in from my window. Oh my God. Woo. She also gave me this and I hope that I can find a spot for it. And then it goes because it's just so cute. It says what I love the most about my home is who I share it with. It's so cute. I just have these pillowcases. I don't know if we're gonna keep them. They're like, I, they almost look pink in like certain lighting which is not gonna go, I don't know, but they're here. Next, I have these hangers. You guys, I'm so excited about these. This is like the best deal of hangers ever. If you guys looked at my like Amazon shop or like the links that I posted on Amazon day, Prime day, whatever it was, you can get a hundred hangers for like $36 on Amazon, which is like insane. You pay like 25 bucks for like 50 hangers sometimes. So, really good deal. Um, they come in a bunch of different colors. Heads up, the black ones did not have good reviews. 
Um, so, but we got the white ones. They all came, none of them were broken that I've seen so far. I didn't get to the bottom of the box, but they all look like they're in good shape. I will say though that Evan ordered a pack to his house and I ordered a pack to my house so we could start switching stuff over on our hangers beforehand. And Evan ordered the same time I did, the same thing, and they sent him black ones so he needs to go and return them. So, minor fluke with that, but um, yeah, I think they're really good quality and like I said, an insane deal for hangers. The next few things I think I'm gonna need to take you with me. Well, actually, I'll show you this first. I have this giant picture back here. I'm gonna just stand it up here because I feel like that will give you the best idea of it. This has more of like a champagne-y silver kind of vibe to it, but we're hoping that if we put that over our dining table, it'll tie in like the silver appliances in the kitchen with like the gold of the rest of the house. So or the rest of the apartment. So that's the vibe for this. I'm so excited about this. I love this. I feel like this is what exactly what I was picturing. Um, and then my mom like sent me a picture of it and I was like, that's that was in my head and now it's here. So I'm just so pumped about it. Next, I'm just gonna see if I can lift this up. Oh, it's so light. Okay, sweet. This is our side tables, bedside tables, nightstands, whatever you wanna call them. Um, I'm obsessed with them. They're so unique. I think they're so cute. And as you can see, I said that these are a little bit more modern than everything else we have. So that's why I'm kind of changing the whole vibe of the bedroom I'm thinking because like, do you ever see something and you feel like a little kid again and you're like, like it can happen without this. So you can be like, I know that this is something that I will regret not getting for the rest of my life. Happens to me a lot. But like this one, I was also very emotional to say, I really don't know why, but like I almost cried. My mom saw these in the store and she sent me a picture and I was like, I'm literally in love with them. Like I'm literally in love. And then she sent me some other ones that like match my bed that I have. I was gonna use, and I still might. I'm trying to talk myself into it, save money. I was gonna use my bed frame that I had in my room and just repaint it. She was like, these other ones match your bed better but like there was nothing special about them. They were just nightstands, you know? So the thought of not getting them was literally choking me up a little bit. I was like, why could I cry right now? Like that's a bit dramatic, don't we think? So um, I needed to have them again. They're a little bit more modern than the rest of the styles of everything else that I have, but like we just need to make it work because I mean, they weren't not, I couldn't not get them, okay? And then I think the last thing that we have so far, this is our TV stand. I am obsessed with this. This was another thing that I had all of the regrets. My mom sent me a picture of this um, about a month ago before we knew we were moving. And she was like, oh, you could put Billy on it. Like, it's so cute. And I was like, yeah, it's so cute. But my dad had just built him this cart thing that he's on. It has wheels. I can move him around because he's like in front of my closet, as you can see. So I was like, I love that. But like, I don't have anywhere for it. I can't put him on that and not be able to move him. So I was like, like, don't get it. So, um, just a little close up. She's so cute. So basically, I think it was about a week before we actually decided we were moving. My mom sent me a picture of this. And then when we signed the lease, I was like, oh my God, could you look and see if they have that stand thing that you sent me? And of course they didn't have it. And we went to some other home goods, like, Somewhere else they had this and I was like, oh my god, this was another one of those I want to cry regretful type missing Purchases, I don't know what I just said, but you get what I'm saying. So when I saw it obviously we needed to have it It fits the TV we have legit perfectly like perfectly So I'm so pumped about it and yeah I have like a few other things that are like in my room right now that I'm just gonna wait to show you guys until the room tour Basically everything you guys see in the room tour is gonna be coming with us um, for the most part if not, I think basically everything. I'm just so excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Sorry it was so long. I hope this gets you guys excited for more like moving videos and stuff. I'm so excited to film them for you guys. So if you have any specific um, apartment video requests, um, be sure to comment them down below. I have a list going and I'm gonna try and hit all the ones you guys want. So, oh my God, oh my God. I almost forgot the most important item. This is Robert. Um, we're also going to be getting like a bookshelf 
thing to put in the living room. Not like a wood bookshelf, but like a nice pretty shelf to like, you know, decorate. You know how people do that. And Robert is our first item to go on it. He is from at home. And if you guys don't know, bugs love me and I needed to have him. So um, I went there several times. Every time I didn't have a spot for him and then we went after we signed the lease and Evan was like, I think you need your bug. I'm like, you are, you are absolutely right. So his name is Robert. Welcome, Robert's the lovely little fam. He's nice, don't be afraid of him. And yeah, that's it. Save the best for last. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up for me. And if you guys are not subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I post a video. Join the lovely little fam. We would love to have you. Um, there's going to be so much better content coming when I move. I'm so excited. We can incorporate so many new things. If you guys are also not following me on Instagram, be sure to head on over to I am Amanda Louise on Instagram. Also, my subscriber takeovers have started. You guys are killing it so far. I'm so, so, so loving your takeovers. Thank you so much for all of you that have been a part of the takeover so far. It's the best thing ever. So if you guys have not um, applied to do a takeover, be sure to apply. I have the link down below and also in the description box of the lovely little fam Instagram. Head on over there, follow that. You guys are the best. It's so cute to like see you guys making friends and like, ah, I just love it. I love it so much. So, okay, that is it. I love you guys endlessly. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. And until the next video, stay blessed and don't forget to live lovely. Bye.